Bé, doncs, bon dia a tots i totes. Faré la presentació en català. I'm going to make the presentation in Catalan. A Xarcolan, ens dediquem... We recover the forgotten plants. I'm going to ask you a question. Do you know the name of any of the plants here? Come on, show of hands. Do you know the name of any of the plants that you have here? One person, two people, three, four, five, six, seven. So if we asked uh, how many of you know the brand of your computer, your smartphone or your trousers, you would uh, all show your hands wouldn't you? So this is why from Chargolan, our, founda our foundation, we want to focus on this resource, this forgotten plant. We don't know how they are called and we don't know them. We will not be able to use them. So we need to learn again how to read our landscapes because otherwise, if we don't know what's around us, we will not be able to use it and we will not be able to protect it. This is why we are a group of people, our non-profit organization, and we work to explain that there are a lot of wild plants and they are considered to be weeds. And uh, we call them weeds, but they are traditional agricultural species that we can use. But they are disappearing. So why? Because we want to transform the agricultural model and uh, everything that happens since we plant a seed until we can eat, we want to transform it. What's behind the hamburger? What's behind the uh, pasta? What's behind uh, these uh, uh, sandwiches? So we have uh, a model that it is not a very sustainable. It comes from, from the other side of the world and the uh, farmers find it very difficult to survive. But we have some resources that we should use and we could use. Another example, um, the fennel. Uh, fennel can be an example to explain that uh, from our group and uh, from the labs and from the schools, uh, from the bakery, we work in order to transform this agricultural system. So if I say fennel, fennel is fantastic. It is the best plant you can find in the world. Okay, yeah, but what can we do with fennel? So we need to talk to old people, to seniors, uh, because uh, they've been using fennel uh, forever. So you can use the seeds when you have a flu, or you can put them in your cookies, in your biscuits, and uh, uh, they can help us in digestion. So, and um, then this knowledge can be transformed into tools. Tools are the seeds. If we want uh, someone to use the fennel, we have uh, to give them access uh, to fennel. And we can explain to them what they can do with fennel. And uh, then we uh, sell uh, seeds and uh, we... If you come to the workshop, you will be able to uh, to try some products because these uh, can be food. So we recover some species, we preserve species, uh, we do dissemination, we do gastronomic experimentation. So there is a lot of dissemination because if we don't explain it, nobody is going to understand us. In Echarcolan, it is, uh, uh, it, we have three pillars and it is uh, a complicated project and the foundation uh, is uh, the uh, members. We have 1,300 uh, uh, partners uh, 
that self-organize themselves in nodes. The strategic goals of Charcolan want to be a reality. Then we have a board, a group of people who think and lead the project. And uh, well, it's not just ideas and uh, Charcolan is a non-profit organization, but we have a technical team, people who decided to work uh, because they believe in something. And uh, then after their job, they will have uh, contributed to, to improve the world. So we have approximately 30 people working in the technical team. The goal of a Charcolan, well, to put these forgotten plants in the center and also to have a look at these resources and to transform from different perspectives the different uh, food uh, syst systems and uh, uh, these uh, the the fennel or the or other plants are not the solution to to everything um, i don't know nettles as well, well can be forgotten plants so if you have a lot of tools to solve things, then you will be able to uh, solve the problem. So forgotten plants are like this, are more tools, more tools in this food system in which uh, there are four species, uh, corn, potato, rice, rice and wheat. And 75% of uh, the uh, species have disappeared in the last uh, century. And uh, in Spain, 50% of the supermarkets uh, where 80% of the people buy belong to two companies, Dia and Mercadona, and they decide what we are eating and what we are consuming. So in this context, it is so important to recover the more than 5,000 varieties, local varieties that we have in Catalonia and more than 400 wild species that are edible. So, uh, what do we do? When, when in Charcolan, we work in a framework, in some strategical goals, and if you are members of Charcolan, you know it, and if you are not, we encourage you to do it. We decide in a general assembly which are the goals that will lead us uh, uh, um, that will lead our projects for the following five years and that we have this technical team and we have this board as i mentioned in the previous slide and then we have these working lines what have we achieved because sometimes we are very pessimistic oh that there is a long way to go uh, we can also talk about challenges but we have achieved many things for example we have recovered uh, 1,350 uh, species, uh, the seeds of tomatoes that were about to disappear, the seed of a broad bean or of a runner bean. He didn't want to plant it anymore, but then we have recovered it. Or, for example, pears. Do you know what uh, winter pears? Winter pears are collected now, but you can eat it during winter without having to use the fridges just keeping it in the pantry do you eat a, a melon during christmas well they come from costa rica and uh, then we put the melons in a vessel uh, controlled by a big company and exports uh, the the melon from costa rica and then they offer us a melon in Christmas. But, I don't know if you know it, uh, melons uh, don't grow in winter. But before, people had melon during Christmas in the past. And how did they do it? Uh, well, they had a variety of melon that uh, 
was uh, collected now, the winter melon. It was uh, hugged from a beam and then this melon was ripening and ripening and ripening and for Christmas uh, up to February they had a melon, a melon that didn't come from Costa Rica, a melon that came from the orchard next door. And, uh, and we have uh, recovered 1,300 varieties. And some of them are in our own a bank of seeds, and the other one is in the Arboretum. It's a place where we plant uh, trees uh, like the winter pear or the may peach. And uh, there are so many different seeds, and we sell them. In the Chargon, we always say that we don't want to be things. We want to make things happen. We want to be the catalyzing agent so that other projects and people can work on that. So this is why we have created these three new banks and from places where we have gone to, to the Pyrenees, for example. And... Uh, we have uh, created different organizations and then they recover and they plant uh, the seeds of their own regions. And the same happens with the Arboretum. <laughs> so how did we do it? We have interviewed more than 250 people, 250 people who have um, transferred their knowledge. They say, you know a lot to me. But no, I know nothing. I only know because I've listened to these old people. And this is how we look how to love the land. So we have collected this wisdom and we have transmitted it. So I am so grateful to all the people who have preserved this knowledge and they've been generous enough to share it with all of us so that we can use it. So what else did we do? And with this information, well, we have to disseminate it. This is why we have uh, published some books, um, wild plants, and uh, we've uh, sold uh, 30,000 uh, copies only in Catalonia and only in Catalan, and you can uh, find them in these uh, different bookshops. As for the wild plants, uh, have you eaten nettles? Anybody has eaten nettles? So, very interesting uh, speeches, but there are many other interesting things uh, to do. Saturday morning in Barcelona. And uh, we know that the population in Barcelona, on average, it was uh, done in a, in a study that was done in 2003. So only 3% of the people in, in Barcelona know what's a nettle. And 1 out of 10 know that they are edible, that nettles are edible. So if we want uh, nettles uh, to stop uh, being weeds and being uh, edible plants, we have uh, to make these uh, species uh, known. And uh, we share a lot of uh, information in our social media. Ah, well, you can have uh, some croquetas made of nettles. That is amazing. You can have uh, macaroni and then almonds and nettle. You prepare these uh, pesto made uh, with uh, nettles and it's amazing. It's uh, also packed with minerals. And uh, we want things uh, to happen. And last year, we did the first edition of the Chargolan uh, Awards so that nobody feels alone. And uh, because there is a network, we are so many that want to recover these forgotten plants. And also, the goal is not, oh, look, this is so folkloric, so they are um, nerds eating nettles. No. The best scientists in the world say that, that there will not be uh, food uh, safety if we do not use the local resources. So using local resources means a lot of things, and also that these uh, species uh, should be eaten, and people doing research and uh, doing uh, cannelloni and doing pastry and uh, doing uh, um, 
uh, croquetas are made with these local resources because 50 years ago, 60 years ago, everything uh, came from minerals and plants and uh, we could live happily with our own resources. So dissemination uh, activities, more than 1,200, like uh, what we are doing here. We go to schools as well, and with 30,000 participants, and these forgotten plans that were for the farmers, and uh, that farmers can plant now. And uh, we are working with so many farmers buying their products to generate a local economy, more than 100 uh, local suppliers and more than 50 edible uh, wild plants that we have uh, studied. And uh, there will be many more in a uh, project that we are going to start in our laboratory. And then finally, people who follow us in our mass media uh, in our social media, so, sorry, and uh, these uh, followers in our social media, and they think that uh, they these wild plants exist, and maybe we can change the relationship with them. And then finally, let me tell you that uh, there will be a gastronomic uh, day of forgotten plants. Uh, have you ever been there? It was last Saturday. Uh, we have to wait one long year. We organize it a, every year in Igualada and uh, with uh, more than 200 um, volunteers, 150 speakers and more than 8,000 uh, participants. So it is a key element so that everybody who is interested in all this think that this makes a sense and this has a future. So the nodes that we have, 20 nodes around uh, uh, the um, Valencia and Catalonia region, and uh, the l most of the nodes are in Catalonia, but we also have them in the Balearic Islands and in Valencia. I, uh, it's my last slide, so I'm about to finish. From Charcoland, we say that we have a lot of challenges. And we have to start talking to educators, to teachers and to children that this is fennel and that can be used. And uh, we will see it in the workshop. And uh, we need that forgotten plants are well analyzed. They are not included in any laws. They have to belong to the uh, local food policies uh, because uh, we need to take into account these forgotten plants uh, uh, because we this way will be able to know what we are eating, what we are eating, and also it has to be a real alternative for consumption. Because if we want to make farmers to grow and make a living out of fennel, then we have to be able to buy this product made of fennel. This is why that. Uh, thank you very much uh, for having us and I invite you all to participate and to become members because uh, the challenge is uh, very big but uh, uh, we need you to go to the end. Thank you very much. Sorry for my hiccups.